Alright, hi, this is uh, Jason with RPC Electronics again, and uh, Lesson 5 of the Eagle Tutorial. And hopefully you've been uh, watching these in succession, so as we're building on uh, on this project, it's making more and more sense. Uh, uh, that's the best way to do it, is to start with the beginning, because we are obviously building on it. Uh, this lesson is going to be kind of short, because I basically just want to add a part, show you how to modify a schematic by adding a part. And then we're going to stop this lesson, and then the next lesson we're going to start on the basic board layout. So, uh, the only thing really we need to add to this particular schematic is I would like to add a switch. And uh, I find that in this particular case, uh, we're going to want to put a switch to control power to the regulator. We don't want the regulator constantly drawing power, so we want to basically cut it off. Um, and we'll actually add two parts to this schematic. We'll add a diode as well as a, a switch. We'll put the diode in for reverse for, uh, reverse polarization, uh, and that basically protects uh, you from hooking it up backwards and blowing out uh, the regulator or the LED. So uh, first thing we'll do, the easiest thing I found to uh, to whenever you need to add a part in line is go ahead and use your delete tool, which is this uh, this X here. I'm going to delete this uh, this wire right here and we need to make a little room so I'm going to uh, highlight everything by using these uh, the what they call the uh, group tool and then we're going to click the move tool and then the trick was uh, if you remember from I believe it was lesson two right click and do a move group now we're going to move that entire group over and I'm going to uh, we'll move it over right about there and that'll give us some room to work here so uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab our diode. So we'll, uh, bring up the uh, libraries here, and sometimes uh, when you first open Eagle, it takes uh, it takes a few seconds to read in all the libraries. There we go, and we're going to go down to the diode library. And the diode library is like the LED library, where uh, it actually is named <laughs> what you're looking for, but a lot of these parts in here are going to be user defined parts and a lot of them are going to be specific to certain parts and in this case we want to go to just the diode subsection and as you go through here you're going to see that there's many choices uh, and we're, we're just going to go with a uh, with a basic diode uh, layout here we'll go with this one and we're going to go ahead and click this and add it in and then we'll use our wire tool and let's go and connect that diode next thing we'll do is grab a switch and you'll find that there are many libraries for switches but in this case um, we're gonna go with the Omron switch uh, Omron these are just some switches that I I use a lot and if you've got many flavors of switches uh, in this case I'm just gonna use this and uh, here we have a good opportunity to uh, to show you a trick. If I uh, if I rotate this switch, I can uh, I can do it in, in obviously in any of these four directions. Uh, in this case, we're going to just go ahead and add in right here. Well, it's not really a trick per se, uh, but we can turn that either way. We and we can even uh, use the mirror tool to turn the switch around so now it's it's actually essentially backwards but we're, we're not going to worry about that in this case and we're going to use our wire tool and we're going to connect it into the schematic or into the circuit I should say and let's go and use our junction tool and we'll junction those now you may be wondering why I connected these together these two pins are actually connected internally in this particular switch but uh, it's not always the case and sometimes you want them to tie it together and in this particular case because I, I know what type of switch we're using I went ahead and tied them together anyways and let's go and zoom out to take a look at and always save often just in case so here's our completed schematic our completed uh, circuit and uh, in lesson six the next lesson we're going to take this and we are going to create our very first uh, board so uh, that's it for this one, and we'll see you in Lesson 6. Thanks a lot.